Good afternoon. I'm Catherine Gardette coming to you live from Cafe Vivace for part three of our conversation about food access. And I am just delighted to have Dave sitting here and I'm going to pull up my phone and show you my Food Forest app on my phone. So we've talked about food access and the food waste. We've talked about how soup kitchens, the Queen City Kitchen is looking at food and how to help people and now you know what happened was our Kroger closed a few years ago and Dave came in not with a solution but a, an additional option for residents of Wanted Hills to receive their food. Can you give us a little combo about that? Uh, sure. So uh, the Food Forest app is just a way to order your groceries online. So if you've ever tried, you know, Kroger's Click List or any other online grocery shopping, uh, Food Forest is just like that. Uh, you build a basket. We get the best prices from different stores. Uh, you can even get some local items from the Finley Market, uh, and we deliver it to you twice a week. Uh, no service charge. Uh, we accept EBT, uh, it's, which might be a pain point for someone who really needs grocery delivery, and so. Uh, we're here in Walnut Hills and um, uh, throughout Cincinnati, and uh, we're an option for anyone who wants better grocery access uh, and would prefer to just get their groceries delivered. Can you tell me why you selected Walnut Hills to be the first neighborhood that you brought the app to? Yeah, um, so when I was uh, the Food Forest app, I was actually thinking about this as an uh, employee at Kroger. Uh, I was a part of their digital team, so if you've ever used ClickList or uh, shopped online with Kroger, uh, I was one of the people that helped those businesses. And uh, the grocery store closure here in Walnut Hills, uh, you know, struck me as an opportunity to uh, maybe explore some new innovative ways to address food access. Uh, when a store closes, it basically turns groceries off in a community. Uh, my thinking is that, you know, you don't have to turn it off entirely. Uh, you can you can keep it on at least two or three days a week. It's just going to look different and it's going to feel different. But for customers that really need groceries, uh, the delivery is an option. And uh, I picked Walnut Hills because you know I saw this store closure in my community, in my city, and uh, I wanted to uh, be proactive in building a solution and you know putting my skills to work uh, you know in my neighborhood. I would say that that speaks highly to Wanted Hills because Wanted Hills, we are a proactive neighborhood and so Dave being proactive with this app has really been a, a, a solution for many of us including myself. Can you tell us how you go about getting the Food Forest app and ordering? Uh, yeah, so you can just download the app off of uh, Apple's App Store or Google's Play Store. and. Uh, you just create an account, log in, and uh, within three steps, you're just browsing through thousands of grocery items. You've got all your uh, fresh, your fruits and vegetables, your meats, your deli items. Uh, you've got you know everything that you'd find in the you know the center aisle and the perimeter of the, uh, any grocery store, uh, and you just place an order, and uh, we'll deliver it to you within a, a one to two hour time window. And I will say to you. It is the, part of the evolution of the Food Forest app is that it started as a pickup. So everybody came to one spot to pick up their groceries and now it's delivered right to you where you live at an agreed upon time, which is just a wonderful thing, as well as the ability to have an EBT on that click list. So is there a website that people can go to as well, Dave? Uh, so right now we are uh, mobile only. Um, you know, there, there is a web version of it, but uh, you know, I'd suggest going to, uh, going to the App Store um, or going to our website, which is uh, foodforest.app. Uh, that will take you to the web version, which is very similar to the app that you'll see on the App Store. It's a great option. If you have not downloaded the Food Forest app, I highly recommend that you download it so you can give a perusal of what items are out there. I'm gluten-free and I am completely supplied with my gluten-free items every week that I order. 
So we've talked about food access. And as Dave mentioned, and as I've mentioned many times before, we are a food desert. And the Soapbox Media has received a grant to do some investigation of what foods are needed within the community so that we then can partner with existing businesses to ensure that those items are there. So I'd like you to text HELLO to 513-230-6899. Again, that's 513-230-6899. Six eight nine nine. Give us a hand here in Wanted Hills to know what kind of food access items we need. Have a great afternoon. We've been brought to you by a Facebook Journalism Project Award.